What's up everybody, Rick here, Canine Solutions Dog Training. Welcome back to the channel. This week, e-collars. Do you love them or hate them? Let's find out. All right, so e-collars, shock collars. Oh my gosh, every time I hear that phrase, how my blood just boils. I'm not gonna go too in depth today on the differences and the things that we have gone through over the last 10 plus years with remote collars, but I want you to start using that word, remote collars, okay? Let's distance ourselves away from the word shock. And I'm gonna get into that just a little bit at the end here on what the difference is between a shock collar in a remote collar because we hear it all the time. So you probably watched a couple videos with our buddy Rocky here where we did some leash walking. Yes, good boy, buddy, good boy. Where we did some leash manner stuff with him on his like first into his fourth day. He's now been here for six-ish days, I believe at this point. And we have started to layer in the e-collar or the remote collar, okay? So what that means is we've shown Rocky the picture we're looking for over and over and over and over again until he started understanding what we're looking for before we go and just put on an e-collar on him here. So I got a little treat for you guys today. This is what's called a sound box, okay? All this does is it's actually paired to my remote that I'm gonna be working Rocky on. And anytime that you're gonna hear an audible tone from here, that means I'm pushing that button. The reason I'm doing this for you guys is because a lot of people will say, oh, the dog's only listening because you're pushing the button and you're shocking him. No, I'm not, I actually I'm not. The remote collar is gonna be used for an extension of my leash or a leash without a leash basically. What it's doing is gonna say, hey buddy, I asked you to sit, remember? Boop, boop. Oh, you're talking to me. That's what you're saying? I thought you were talking to the other dog. No, 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 it was talking to you, Rocky, I promise. That's who I was talking to. So this is gonna give you guys a live, on the spot, audible tone that's gonna say, oh, he's pushing the button. Maybe I understand why he's pushing the button. The other thing I want you to pay attention to is how little we push the button during our training session. Again, because we've shown him the picture so many times. He truly understands what we're looking for, and now it's not unfair to add in that layer of correction for him here. By the way, he's just hanging out there. He has no tether on him right now. So let's give this a try. Got my PE900 in my pocket here. It's what we use. E-collar technologies is the brand we use, and we'll go into some brands and things at the end here. But one of the main ones we use here because it's a very durable system, and it's a very accurate system. And remember that word, accurate, there. So, Rocky, free. Come on, Rocky. Free. Good boys. Good boy, buddy. There you go. Good job, buddy. You want to go say hi to everybody, Rocky? Huh? Good boy. Rocky, sit. Yes. So I asked him for a sit, he gave me the sit. I have yet to push the button yet. Again, you have not heard any audible tones here. Rocky, come. Good, and look at that, he's taking food now. Stress level has gone down enough where he's like, oh, I might as well start taking this food because I might as well get double rewarded here, right? Rocky, heel, nope, there you go. So he went out of position, and if you heard the tone, he immediately corrected himself back into position. Come on, bud. Come on, Rocky. Rocky, place. Good. Good boy. Rocky, free. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Rocky. Good job. Good. So I'm going to use my little tether leash here, give him a little bit more guidance. Rocky, heel. Good. And right now, what I'm looking for is position. Nope. Good. Good, good boy. Rocky, sit. Yes, good sit. Good sit, Rocky. Good sit. Bourbon, free. Bourbon, free. Good, yes. 
Adding in a little bit of stimulation from bourbon here. Good boy. And let's see how we do. Ready, buddy? You ready? You ready? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Rocky heel. Let's go. Right here. Good. Good job, Rocky. Now, he's shaking his head because this tether is kind of tickling him a little bit here. But again, unless you're hearing that tone, I'm not correcting him in any way, shape, or form right now. Completely loose leash. Nothing keeping him in position except his own good choices right now. Rocky, sit. Yes, good boy. Bourbon. Good. Bourbon, spin. Yes, good. Rocky, no. Good choice. Good boy. Rocky, sit. Rocky, come. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Good job, Rocky. Rocky, place. Yes. Bourbon, place. Awesome. Awesome. That video was way too short. We need to do a full video on remote collars. What they are, which one to buy, how to use them, when to use them, how they work. It's gonna have to be a multi-part series, I think. So, what do you think? Drop me a comment below, give me a thumbs up, let me know, yeah, heck yeah, we need a full remote collar series so that you can understand exactly what we're doing, what you saw with Rocky there. You saw in his little bit of training session, I think he got corrected once, maybe twice, forgive me, I don't exactly know, but it was just a couple times. And it was to say, hey, look, you know, I told him heel, he's like, oh, let me go wander over here. No, hey, pop, 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 get your butt over here. That's what I want you to do. Remember, it's an extension of your arm. If he was on a leash, I'd be like, boop, get over here. So same thing. The remote collar is there for that. It's not for him to do the behavior. It's there to remind him, hey, I asked you something that you know what I'm asking you of at this point. So from here on out, it just keeps getting harder and harder for him. We add in more stressors, more outside stimuli, hyperactive dogs, anything that we could throw at him to try to let him fail a little bit so that way he can actually understand, oh, it doesn't matter where I'm at, who's with me, what's going on, I still have to listen. And that's the ultimate goal when we layer in that remote collar later on. So if you love this video, thumbs up it guys, make sure you do. Also smash that subscribe button please because we're almost at a thousand subscribers and I can't wait to break that mark. Thanks to all of you guys out there. That's the only reason we are doing this. We want to bring free content to you as much as we possibly can and make sure you hit that notification button because if you don't, you're never going to know when that free content is out there. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.